Yeah, I mean, reality is sometimes you're going to play really well and you feel like you deserve to win, but you don't. Um, but tonight we were a real resilient group in there and felt a lot like game two against Nashville at home where we felt like we outplayed them, created a lot of scoring chances. Goalie played really good for them tonight and, uh, you know, made some saves that, you know, we feel like we had empty nets and, and he stuck a leg out or a hand out, whatever. He played really well, so... Uh, but in overtime, you know, you just got to go out there and we just stressed, just keep playing, just keep playing, keep doing what we're doing. We're creating a lot and just a matter of time. And we're able to hem, hem them in and man's put a top shelf. Uh, you scored that goal. I know it's kind of hard to describe, I'd imagine. I've never scored a goal for a goal. But how would you kind of explain just what was going through your head, what you were feeling? I was kind of just looking out because there was a lot of guys coming at me with a lot of speed. I think EJ was three feet off the ground when he got to me. That's a big guy. So I, I was just kind of holding my ground. And, um, but it was, it was a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. You know, it, it feels good to, uh, to get that with your team. You know, that's the best part about playoffs is it's a team effort and you get to win with your team. What about career moments? Is this number one? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it's got to be first playoff goal, first uh, overtime winner. For, for, yeah, it's got to be. Josh. Um, from where I was sitting, it appeared that St. Louis's goalie only saw 92 on the game winning shot. So much credit to his great. Oh, I think that player. whole that whole shift was him. I mean, he, he kept getting the puck back in the corner. He, I think he hit me low to high in the first one too, and I got a shot on net or whatever it was. Um, and then he just kept working and worked it behind the net and got it out to me again. I mean, he kept bringing guys to him, and it opened up the lane up top for me to uh, to have so much time. Um, so I, you know, that's that's a play I think all on Landy tonight. When, yeah, they I, when, they tied, when they tied the game there at two to two, what was the Canadian and what was maybe your message, Gabe, to the team as you guys went into the locker room after? I don't think I had to say much. I think the, you know, we got plenty of guys that'll, we got a really good pulse on on what's going on in the game and and on the team, and you know, it was maybe a bit of a sloppy change on the PK. Um, you know, worked hard. Guys were out there for a bit and got the puck out and probably thought it was a little bit deeper in their zone than it really was. And guys fought to get on the ice, but they made a nice skill play and put it in the back of the net. That's going to happen sometimes. And um, But we just talked about both of their goals, even their first ones, a bit of a tough bounce that goes off of Shen's uh, shin pads and, and goes to O'Reilly and, and he scores. And we felt like if we just made them earn their scoring chances in overtime uh, and we kept playing with the juice that we did up front and in the offensive zone, we were going to keep great. And then eventually, you know, you just hope that one's going to sneak in. Um, so, you know, but that's playoff hockey momentum shifts and, you know, they're a good team over there. They're going to keep coming and, and that's the way this series is going to be. It's going to be tough. You, you and Sam contributing to your three goals. What does that mean? I think that this team's done it all year. You know, the, the defense has contributed all year, so that, that's a part of this uh, team's identity, I think. And um, obviously, when you're getting deep scoring, it, it helps to win games. Gabe, yesterday, I asked you about rust, and you said you trade off for the rest. But was there some of that maybe with you guys being you know, careless at times or, or whatever from that rust? Mm, I mean, I thought we played a pretty good game, to be honest with you. Um, at times, maybe not as sharp with the puck, um, but the same time, I thought we worked really hard and, and, and guys were covering for one another and, and uh, you know, we were taking care of the puck for the most part. When we didn't, you know, we got in trouble at times. So that's just kind of the main message, take care of the puck and, and make them earn everything. Maybe even on some plays where you had a, had a teammate try to help off another teammate probably <laughs> losing a play with the craziest thing you've ever seen in a game. Uh, I mean, I think it's happened a few handful of times over the last few years. You kind of see it on, you know, Sportsnet or whatever. Uh, just kind of funny how it works because if you don't have steel and you want to skate, you're <laughs> you're kind of in one at that point. So Val's a good team guy and, and helped him up. Dave, you've been playing with Val now for a few years. Number one, have you ever seen him get fired up like that after scoring? And just what does that do to a, to a bench to see a player who's usually a little more even keel do something like that? Yeah, I mean – Listen, Val's a train, you know, he's he, he's been so good for us and, and uh, you just keep finding ways to, to be super effective for us and score big scoring big goals. And and even when he's not scoring, he's contributing in other ways.
Um, and yeah, it means a lot for sure. In playoff games, every goal is is massive, and and it just brings out that emotion in you. And and you know, he's a quieter, calm guy. Just kind of goes about his business, works hard, and let lets his you know kind of play speak for itself. So it's great to see that emotion come out. Do you guys ever have any doubts? Period when things aren't going your way. You know what? I think that's one of my favorite things about tonight was after they scored that first goal, there was no change in the mentality on the bench. I mean, you, you, it's easy to get deflated when you get a bounce like that and you feel like you're playing well, um, and a bounce like that and it ends up in the back of your net. Um, but there was a response right away, uh, and I think that was that's such a good a good sign um, for for a team. And, you know, that's that's a good team across the across the way there. They've got a lot of returning guys that uh, that have won, so they know how to win. So. It's easy to get deflated, but we, we uh, found a way. It was good. Hey, I'm sure everyone seen scoring an overtime goal in the Bell Nuggets jersey. Did you dream about it for for the for the game tonight? Like the feeling or the, the actual goal itself? Because in my dreams, I, I you know like a one hander or something like that, you know. But um, no, it was it was great. I mean, it's like I said, it, it's it's not about the way I feel. It's the way the whole team feels. You know, seeing everybody come at me. That's that's the best part. Game over here, you guys have had some tricky missions. Yeah, I think it's playoff time, and and you know it's emotional for sure. But I think both teams are focused, and and you know this isn't the time to try to be tough after whistles. It's time to just focus on what you got to do the next shift, and I think that's what both teams are doing tonight. I think it's fair to ask you to pump them up a little bit, but you joined the team pretty late this season. How seamless has it been, and what's the best he's brought to your defense? I mean, he's been huge for us. You know, he's big on the penalty kill. He's a physical presence back there. He's a calming presence uh, in the room. You know, he's got experience and, and just overall really good teammate and can't get enough of those. Um, and, you know, he's he's going to be huge for us. He has been big for us. And, um, you know, he's playing some tough matchups as well. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a really nice addition for us. Gabe, what was, I guess, your view of the goal and the, the final play of the game and I think you were facing Josh when he when he shot it. How did you realize it went in? Did you hear the crowd or did you see players react? Or what? Just take me through that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I came around the net and used a load of high, and and I saw it. Man's had a nice pump fake up top first that he doesn't get a whole lot of credit for, but that was real nice. And uh, you know, kind of got there forward to bite, was able to get a shooting lane, and at that point, I'm just trying to stand in front and kind of move out last second, and and it's just. It happens so fast, but there's a certain sound, I guess, that, you know, there's no sound because it's soft hitting the net. So it's, and then you just hear the crowd erupting and, and you're just trying to, you know, it's, it's, it's an exciting feeling for sure. And over time and yeah, big, big win for us and I'll enjoy this one tonight and get back to work tomorrow. What did you guys think of the, of the crowd? Oh, it was amazing. It's loud. Yeah. Really loud. Yeah. It's awesome. That the environment, I mean, you just feed off it, right? Um, I wanted to ask about Sam too. He took a lot of heat last year in the Vegas series for maybe not being physical enough or dealing with the physicality well. How good is it, one, to see him score, and just how do you think he's kind of played these playoffs in general? Oh, I think he's been really good. He's been solid, and you know, last year's last year, and, and it's a new new year for everybody. Um, and uh, you know, obviously, he comes up with a big goal for us tonight, and, and I thought he played well. He was moving, moving real well, staying active in the ozone, and. Um, you know, I think our whole decor was was really good in D zone, going back for pucks and um, making some quick exit exits out of our zone, and uh, allowed us to spend more time in the O zone. And G was a big part of that. Josh, what do you think works well just about you two as a pairing? Well, G's great at breaking the puck out. He moves his feet so well. So my biggest uh, my goal, I guess, when we go back for the puck is if there's a guy on him and I can get in his way and just buy him a little bit more time, he he's got the ability to make the play right. So that's. Uh, that's kind of what, what we've been trying to do, is, or at least in my mind, is give him as much time as I can going back for the puck and, and then let him take use his skill and, and, and find a way to break the, break the puck out. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Right. Jared, you got him 13-0 and shot in overtime. It seemed like you guys really came out with a lot of fire this evening. Obviously, it seemed like you deserved to win the game in regulation. That didn't happen, but you took care of it in dominating fashion. Um, yeah, I mean, 
I liked our game the whole night. I thought we were resilient there. Obviously, we made a mistake on the penalty kill. We changed four guys, um, gave them one that was too easy. Um, and it is what it is. You know, we've talked to our team all, all year long about being resilient and being mentally tough. And we came out and got right back to our game. Um, didn't capitalize on the power play, but just kept doing what we were doing throughout the course of the 60 minutes. And, you know, eventually we felt like we'd have a chance and, and break them down and get it, get the, the, the winner. And um, our guys believed it. They worked hard for it. I felt like they earned it tonight. They had a, I thought we had a lot of really good effort um, from all of our guys, some guys with some big performances on both sides of the puck, and, and we get the job done tonight. Now on to the next. And, uh, against Nashville, the hockey gods will reward you if you press your own. Is this a strength of the hockey gods tonight? <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> I felt like, I listen, we, it was a good game from our group. It was. I thought, um, you know, right away, we, we played to our identity and um, second period was probably our best. I thought we were really dangerous in the second period and, and, and we got a couple goals and we had a bunch of chances and, and we didn't make a lot of mistakes, but that's one thing about St. Louis is even if, if they're not at their best or, or, you know, you make any mistakes that they, 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 they can w win being opportunistic, you know, they're a really good team. They check the right way. They got a good offensive um, uh, ability. And if you make any mistakes, they'll, they'll capitalize on them. And we saw that tonight. And, and we know that, that the next one's going to be just equally as tough. It feels like in playoff runs, there's, there's usually guys you wouldn't expect to, to score big goals. You haven't had Josh Manson for very long, but I guess what makes him deserving of a moment like that? Well, I thought he was fantastic tonight. Like you watch his defending tonight, heavy, good with the puck, gaps were great. I mean, he played his butt off all night long. And um, you know, we're telling our guys if you got open shooting lanes, take it. You know, and if you if you got to create some movement to get it, do it. And uh, it just felt like he played the right way the whole night, and eventually gets an opportunity to shoot the puck and puts it in the back of the net. It was a great shot. A great goal, you know, on a great shift. So glad to see him get rewarded. Good kudos to him. You know, Trey did my move wasn't like last year's move. What has he? Well, he's gotten better and better as he's been with us. You know, like he, you know, if you if you talk to Josh about his arrival here and the differences in our structure and the way we play and the things we stress, um, right, not right, not right or wrong. It's just different, you know. And it, and he's been there a long time playing the same way and um so there's differences and he was thinking too much and and as he kind of he's he's a real inquisitive guy and likes to be coached and wants to see things and comes in all the time and spends a lot of time with nolan pratt and uh he wants to be real clear on things and and it's part of what makes him good the structure of his game is part of what makes him so successful and and um so as he's got more clear on that, he's become more dangerous offensively. He's become a better defender for us and a really relied upon guy. Now we're seeing exactly why we did get him. And, um, you know, it's a, it was a much needed piece for us. How big is it to win on a night when Nathan McKinnon even talked about the stars leaving the driver's side? You conceded that that's the case too. At least on, on the score sheet, in defending on definition of terms, the uh, your stars weren't on the score sheet. Nice to win that way. Well, I mean, you need your depth and you need everyone playing, especially when you're playing a team like St. Louis with all the depths that they, depth that they have. But, the, you know, they were on for the one goal, and, and I thought they played great. They were dangerous. They defended hard. They did everything right. Um, and, you know, when you're talking about your stars need to drive the bus, it's not just getting on the score sheet every night. Like that, they're playing against a really good line, uh, the McKinnon line in in O'Reilly, and sometimes a wash is is good enough. You know, you're not going to win that matchup every night because you're playing against the other team's best players. But I thought they were good, and they and they they played the right way, and they spent a lot of time in the offensive zone. They were dangerous. They couldn't get the puck to go, so they don't get on the sheet. But I mean, everyone on our team is watching those guys and how they play and how they compete and the detail to their game. And when it's good, everyone else follows. Follow up from Terry. 
don't know about driving the bus, but I thought Gabe did a good job of backing up his bus on that game winning shot. Yeah, I mean he was outstanding. I mean that that whole shift was was um you know, it was a great shift. You know, we shoot it a couple times, Gerard gets a look, it's off his shoulder, Kadri, uh, Landy gets it out the weak side of the net and goes low to high twice to you know, our D, we get a couple shooting opportunities. We were going to the net hard. Um, their goalie was, was playing great, and, and they came, you know, there was any rebounds in front of the net. Their D did a great job of taking care of it, and their forwards of making sure it was clear. We just couldn't quite get to it. We had a lot of shots. We missed a lot of shots. You know, I think um, we had opportunities before that, and it just didn't go for us, but the guys stuck with it. How much did the experience of this game too, where it felt like kind of a similar game where you were getting a ton of scoring opportunities but weren't getting it past them? How much did the experience of that game against Nashville help you tonight? Do you well, think? it helps. I mean, all the, all the experiences that you go through during the year, like guys remember games and they remember when you're down and come back. They remember when you're up and you lose the lead. Um, you know, th that's what the regular season's for. It teaches you how to win. and. Um, but you have to be, you know, in tune and focus and, you know, the belief is, is really what drives it. I, our guys have a really good understanding, number one, and they have a belief in what we do. And, and if you have that and you keep working at it and you don't get rattled by ebbs and flows of a game or bad bounces, then you're going to continue to do what makes you su successful. And that's what I thought we did tonight. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It does. I mean, you, you see it, you know, more often than you think, you know, it was a great job by Helms to get him there and we got the change, you know, that wasn't the change that hurt us. We had a different one, but we'll go over it again and make sure we're making the right decisions in those situations. But it was, I mean, we're getting in front of some of those shooting lanes, you know, so did they. I mean, it's a big part of it. You got to sacrifice in order to win hockey games at this point in the year. Yep. I thought he was good. Yeah, give us a chance to win. I mean, you know, like I said, they they have some shooters over there and guys that can make plays, and, and he came up big when he needed to. Who, um, uh, Gerard, it looked like he was a little bang, banged up at certain points. Is he doing okay? Yep, he's doing good. He had a great night. He was involved in skating in our, in our offense right out of the gate. Like, if I cut the scoring chances up, he's going to be a part of a lot of them. I thought he was really good tonight. A couple last ones for this player. Awesome. You might be able to answer this better after watching this, but was there a little bit of rust, you think, or maybe maybe you guys weren't as sharp at times? I didn't think so. Yeah, no, I liked their game right from the get-go. Um, you've had, I think in the in game four against Nashville, there were some, some sloppy changes that led to – Goals yep. and then two. There was the one. There was two. Yeah. Yep. So I guess what's going on there, and how how do you address that in the next few days? Oh, trust me, we've talked about that a lot. It's it's just it's discipline. I know it's you're you're tired. You've been that in this situation. We're killing a penalty. Penalty kills doing a great job. You're tired. You're trying to make sure you're doing the right thing, getting fresh bodies on. But that puck's not. That puck's their possession right at their blue, and they got guys pouring onto it. We have to have a couple guys on the weak side, our weak side D or weak side forward hold, and we can probably get one or two off to fill the the strong side of the ice. They go quick up to the weak side. It's it's a discipline thing. It's not you. You're trying to change all the time to put your teammates and 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 the next line out in a in a good situation, not a bad one. And 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 normally when you're if you're if you're doing the opposite, it'll cost you. It may not cost you every time, but it's going to cost you. Can you just talk about the mindset? Yeah, like I said, I think it's – it's um, there's a resiliency to this group, you know, and um, it, it's been building for a few years here. Uh, I don't know. Again, I think it comes back to the belief that our team has and, and just – they, they've been through some heartache and, and they seem focused and, and determined to work through it. Thank you.